Launch Bay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It was so jaw-dropping when I first saw Star Wars. It had such an impact on me. 
uh, when I was studying film, and it really played a part in driving me into the film industry. I was 11 years old, and seeing the film for the first time, it was such a profound thing, not just because the movie itself was so entertaining, but because it said anything is possible. I remember seeing it, and I just felt like, I know what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I am sitting here watching this tape over and over until I die. I remember my dad putting me in the car to take me to see it, and uh, I said, where are we going? He said, we're going to see the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Star Wars is a revolution. You can't compare Star Wars to anything that came before it. It was breaking new ground in ways that no one had ever really seen before. I grew up in the late 70s, early 80s, and it was everywhere. The word epic gets thrown around a lot now, but it really was just so huge. As a kid, I really just loved that universe. And as I got older, I think I appreciated the filmmaking part of it more. When you look at Star Wars, it is unbelievable how much they got right. Like, not just the story, and not just the characters, not just the casting, not just the design, not just the music, but all of it. When you look at all of it, and you think that didn't exist prior. It is this strange combination of huge, massive world creation spectacle and really intimate psychological character stories. What George hit upon was this kind of fun, exciting, adventure, self-empowerment kind of storytelling. You may get sucked into it for some of the more fun aspects of it, and then as you grow up, the films grow up with you because you become older and more sophisticated and are able to peel back some of those mythic layers and, and appreciate those as well. All of the people that worked on the designs for these films tapped into something perfect artistically. So just the shape of the Millennium Falcon, the shape, the idea of lightsabers. And I remember seeing the graphic quality of the Death Star, the TIE Fighters with those twin wings, the X-Wings. I mean, those were all just, you know, such iconic shapes. They were like logos, essentially. And it feels old, some of it, worn out helmets. And you go, well, whatever's in this universe has been going on for a very long time. It had the random scuff marks and the scorching and the sort of junk in the corners and all the sort of little things that build up in everyday life that generally didn't appear in science fiction up to that point. We had never seen anything like it before, the visual effects in the movie. We didn't call that I mean, it just it looked real, it felt real. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? <laughs> to me, what was so exciting about The Force Awakens was that feeling of this brand new adventure, this brand new story that would be a bridge between what we know and who we know and everything that comes next. Certainly for all young kids, they either wanted to be Luke Skywalker or they saw themselves as Han Solo. And I think that was a part of our challenge, was how are we gonna bring new characters into this series that had that same kind of power? While there was never a doubt that the visual opportunities were enormous, uh, the worlds we would travel to, the creatures we would meet, the weapons and ships and landscapes that we would see would be stunning and exciting. None of that matters if you don't love the people in the ships. So at the core of this story had to be the thing that makes any story work, which is the characters. It doesn't end there, though. This is just the first step on a long path for Star Wars into the future. The Star Wars stories as individual standalone films give us the opportunity to explore some new territory. Some of them will be grounded in things that are familiar. Rogue One is about an event that's referenced in the crawl of episode four, the theft of the Death Star plans. What I love is that we are able to diversify Star Wars storytelling, explore some different genres, and yet stay inside the sort of larger galaxy of Star Wars that we all recognize. There's so much story that we're telling across multiple movies, across different 
television shows, across all kinds of different media. We're tasked with developing those stories and making sure they're cohesive, that they connect. One of the things we always ask ourselves in the story group is, what's the best format for a story to be told? Is it a movie? Is it something in the animated space? Or is it a book or a comic? Working on story and helping to guide those filmmakers and looking for ways in which we can push technology. That's what keeps it exciting and new and relevant. And what better way to do that than inside the Star Wars universe? It is like some sort of, I was going to say, it's kind of like a renaissance here. But it's not even that because we were never even doing this before. This is turning out a movie a year. Everything from Rogue One on the other movies on shows like Rebels have the opportunity to do things that are both visually and tonally a little different to what you might consider classic Star Wars. Everyone, hang on! I think it's fantastic what Dave Filoni and the Rebels crew have done to create that show. I think we've created some really wonderful characters and kind of establishing what the Rebellion was like in its early stages. I think that's been really, really exciting. I think there are a lot of kids who grew up on the prequels and on Clone Wars who are really excited about Rebels because in a way it picks up the story that they know. But their parents are excited about it because it also starts in a place that they recognize as being relevant to episode four. I think to this day, Star Wars still represents this amazing universe. A place that only exists in the movies or in your imagination, but soon we're going to be building it in a physical way, a tangible way in our theme parks. You're going to be able to walk inside these environments. You'll be on a planet. You'll be hurtling through space. It will be very, very immersive. It's nice to be involved in something where everybody cares so much. It's not just that they care about it because they're a fan, but they care about it because it had something to do with their life. I think it's great, frankly, when you get a group of people in the room and they're that energized to do great work. We've found a lot of really wonderful, talented writers and filmmakers who are excited to work on Star Wars, who grew up with Star Wars, who love it. The very first kind of movies that I and a lot of the people in my generation were making in our heads as kids was in that world of Star Wars. I don't think I'm lying when I say Star Wars means the world to me. I just really wish someone had told me when I was four that I was going to get to make a Star Wars film because I would have spent the last 36 years planning it. It doesn't matter what age you are or where you grew up, there's something about Star Wars that you can connect with. It's more than entertainment. It's a very, very unique cultural force, and it's just as relevant now as it ever has been. You go out in the world and you see a little kid engaging with Star Wars, and you understand it's their parents that have brought them into this world. It's this great generational thing, and if I'm able to help give a father or mother that gift that they pass along to their children, I think, you know, that's, that's incredible. I don't know what it must be like to be a kid growing up with this much awesome. I don't know how it would have affected me. I probably would have been making films by the time I was six. We're gonna need those kids in the future to keep this thing going because there's a lot to do. I think with Star Wars, what people are looking forward to is sharing it with their friends, with their family, with their kids. And there's so many things on the horizon that I think we're going to have an amazing array of entertainment to thrill audiences for decades to come.